San Pedro is a quaint little town that serves as the hub for all excursions in the desert. There are no shortage of dining options in town, but our personal favorite was a cozy hole in the wall at the edge of town that serves warm empanadas and fresh juice. It's called a Cezanne del Pueblo. The other thing there is no shortage of in town are dogs. These are smart dogs, as they seem to have figured out the art of pulling at your heartstrings to elicit food. The town is especially lively during the night time when the weather is much more pleasant. Geyser El Tatio is located north of the city about a two-hour drive. Although the road is unpaved, a 4x4 is not required. Consider leaving early as we did to view the geysers when they are most active. Okay, we saw our first animal today, guys. It's a little donkey. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my god, goodbye! It's kind of warm. Clean your hands. Ooh, okay. I think I'm warm enough. Oh yeah? I think so. I don't know. No. Put your hands over it like it's a little fire. It's also worth noting that we certainly underestimated how cold it would be. It was well below freezing during our visit. Luckily, the geysers are a natural source of warmth. South of San Pedro along Interstate 27 is one of the most beautiful stretches of the Atacama Desert. It's teeming with vicuña that leap across desert roads that stretch for hundreds of miles. I'm probably a meter away. Miscantis? Miscanti. Um, Miniki or something is next. And this is one of the most beautiful things that I've ever seen in my entire life. It is incredible. There's the laguna here. And I love how you can see the reflections onto the lake of the beautiful green, yellows. Um, the Even the like, um, I don't know if they're mountains or hills. There's different probably terms for that. Um, you have the little mini hills there. Um, the ones in the back with that more gray hue, it's magical. Um, 
yeah this is yeah one of the most beautiful things i've ever seen <laughs> i love your reactions to them I think he's just learning to walk. He's just learning to walk. Like, did you see him try potty? Yes, he was trying potty. He, <laughs> he had brand new legs. Mm -hmm. He was just learning to use them. Mm. So, so cute. Oh, let's go across the street now. Why did this little guy cross the road? Why? <laughs> to get to the other side. Look at him go! Look at him! What is he? We're not sure what he is yet. <laughs> we just saw a sign earlier that was like a picture of him to look out for. Yeah, we were like, what? What do they have here? Ostriches? Emus? And here he is! Yeah, we finally in found all the... his glory! Or her glory. Or their glory. Not really sure. So far we've seen flamingos. This guy. Tons of vicuñas. I think those have been the like primary animals we've seen. Wow! Ah! What, did you, what did you just see? Flamenco. Oh yeah? In the wild. Wait, let me find the other his friends. Oh, <laughs> wait, Ahmed. They don't like noise. <laughs> Everybody flamenco now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> So they tend to hide in those bushes. All the way over there? Yeah, he pointed out the specific areas they can hide on the map. Here's a flamingo in the middle of the desert. And it's right there. Hey guys, my name's Amish. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing for more outdoor-related content. Thanks.